Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, uh, you're probably wondering, well, what is this? Well, I will explain it to you as we go through this video. I'm gonna unbox it. This video is gonna be in HDR where it's available. What you're looking at here is the uh, receiver box for AT&T TV. So this is basically a monthly subscription. You're renting this. Uh, you're not buying this. You're renting this. This gives you the ability to uh, access the AT&T TV subscription channels and movies and watch it on your television. It's basically replacing a Uverse and DirecTV and Genie box. So everything's on the cloud. Uh, from what I understand, this box also supports 4K. So I'm going to connect it to my QLED, as a matter of fact. I will connect this to my QLED, not the OLED. I'll connect it to the QLED. So uh, let's unbox this and I'll talk more about this uh, as I unbox it, okay. So I have removed the slip cover inside the box. There it is, I have removed it, just so you guys can see it. There you go. It may not be a professional unboxing, but hey, this is not sponsored video, okay. So there's no fancy camera tricks, but even though it's not fancy, it's still being recorded in HDR. So this is the front side of the box. Actually, they did a pretty good job with packaging, uh, I have to say. Even when they shipped it, uh, there's some information that comes in when they ship this box to you. They give you a return sticker for UPS and also a uh, return tape so you can return it or you can just simply take it to your local AT&T store you can return it there uh, but they give you all the uh, documentation and everything for you to return this if you choose to cancel so remember this is a lease you're leasing this all right so let's go ahead and let's open this uh, I'm gonna have to use two hands all right so let's open this oh there we go kick back welcome to the best seat in the house the best seat in the house how about that huh uh, so everybody understands I'm not sponsored by AT&T if you guys are thinking oh I'm sponsored by AT&T no I'm not this is just me trying it out I got a pretty good deal for 12 months for 80 bucks a month I want to try it out I want to see how it is and I'll let you guys know if it's good if it's bad stuff like that so let's uh, open this up all right there's some information there uh, let's see what we got here there's some uh, some information here your quick watch guide HDMI to TV power and remove from the back oh this is simple stuff I already know this this is really for regular Joe and regular marry or for individuals or elder elderly and they don't know but for me you know this is not that much of useful information okay and we got some some more safety stuff that we can read but we're not going to read that all right so there's the remote right there there's the receiver it's actually pretty big uh, and remote itself it's actually pretty big it's not small by any stretch of imagination. I'll have to use uh, I'll have to pause the video to take the uh, remote out. I do have to say they did a pretty good job with the uh, packaging of the remote. It's similar like Apple. They're really going to the Apple style of, of packaging. I think a lot of companies are now following the Apple style of packaging and there's no question about that. Apple really has the best packaging style. It's a pretty big remote. Uh, you know, it's, this is not cheap. I, I, I was expecting this to be cheap, but they really did a good job. Uh, you do have your uh, voice where you can call it, switch to channels, preview, pause, record, home. Uh, actually, it's uh, they've done a pretty good job on it, though. It's not bad. All right, so let, let's put the remote over here. Let's get this bad boy out of here. 
yes, I want to use the word bad boy because everyone's using the word bad boy these days. So I'm going to say bad boy. But the way I say it, I see I say it like kind of like bad boy, bad boy. Well, let's move on. Okay, so I'm going to go straight to the back of the box. There's your power adapter right there. There's your USB. I'm not sure what type of USB. Is it 2.0 or 3.0? I'm not sure. But the fact that there is a USB, that's pretty cool. You can plug in your hard drive if you want to. There is HDMI. It's probably it's 2.0 uh, because they are using the 4K. And so there, it's probably 2.0. I'm pretty sure. There's your optical audio. This is pretty cool. You can connect it to your um, receiver. There's an Ethernet port, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Ethernet. There's your Dolby audio. There's the um, HDMI. So let me turn it to the front. Remember, this video is in HDR. So there's the power indicator. There's the network indicator. Don't worry. I will connect it. I will hook it up. Um, it's a pretty cool device. It has a nice matte finish to it. Uh, I gotta say, I'm really impressed though. They did a pretty good job. Uh, I really expected something really cheap, but they didn't. They they really did a good job. This is pretty big. It's bigger than uh, your. I would say slightly bigger than Nvidia Shield. It's slightly bigger than Nvidia Shield. Okay. But it's not made cheaply. It's very heavy, uh, and uh, the remote feels very sturdy. So this is definitely not a cheap device. They they uh, they did a good job on it. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, show you one another thing that's on the side here, really quick. So yes, this is what I wanted to show you. There's a reset button that's right on the right side over here. So if you have problems or issues with a device, you can also hold this for like three seconds, reset it, and uh, you can start over. That's only if you have issues and problems with the, with the box. Just remember it's on the right side. You press the reset button and uh, hold it for three seconds. Wait about maybe 40 seconds to reboot, and then you're good to go. Don't forget, this is HDR video. Um, I want to do more HDR videos. Let's see what else we got down here. Probably a power cord, obviously. Power adapter. Well, Lord, this is a uh, pretty big, pretty big power cord. Direct TV. Eh, I'm, I'm surprised, man, it's this big. Um, damn, what do you got down there? AT&T um, Maybe they need the all this power to power the 4k or maybe future 8k who knows what they put inside this box guys It's AT&T, you know, you never know and uh, Maybe they included HDMI cable. I don't need it because I have Belkin. I use my Belkin cable But yes They did include it, but I'm not gonna use this guys I'm not going to use this. I have my own. I have uh, uh, HDMI 2.1 Belkin. I'm going to put this inside. I don't need this because uh, I already have one. I mean, I have tons of these. And besides, I want to use Belkin. So that's what's inside the box. Now let's plug it in. Let's see uh, the setup process and how it looks and all that. So let's go ahead. Let's do that. As you can see, I got my Belkin cable 2.1. It's right there. I have plugged it in. And as you can see, there's a blue light right there that's shining. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn on my Samsung Q8FN, which is right over here. Samsung Q8FN. And, uh... Let's see how the setup process is. Okay, there's another network. So it needs the network. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect. We're going to use my Ethernet cable. We're going to connect to it. 
that's flashing it's letting you know that you need a uh, internet so I'm gonna connect it there it is it's connected there's a little uh, green light that blinks when you got the uh, network when there's internet you can see the little green light blinking there's my uh, Belkin HDMI cable 2.1 ultra high speed and there's the power adapter now you see it's green so it's letting me know that I'm green mean machine and I'm ready to go and please don't forget this video it's in HDR we're available so now we're all good to go the only thing left to do is obviously put the batteries on the remote and that's it there's a remote control turn it on the side you need to pull this to see if there's any batteries inside if not use a Duracell I always use Duracell yes they did include batteries because imagine if they didn't include batteries just how terrible that would be if they didn't include any batteries but they did so now the only thing left to do is for us to turn on the television so let's do it all right so we're gonna go to our source now if you see this line this light that's the uh, that's basically my light that I'm using the the light on the camera that's what that is there's nothing wrong with the TV it's just my camera it's it's reflecting the light so that's what you're seeing you're seeing the reflection of the light the reason I have my camera and the bright light because I'm recording in HDR and what does the HDR need HDR needs the contrast ratio bright white digital levels versus the black digital levels so that way you guys when you move your peak brightness up on your cell phone you can have a really good HDR video okay so let's click on HDMI 3 it's detecting a device remember I'm using a Belkin HDMI cable which is the ultra high speed 2.1 cable now granted this television doesn't support 2.1 this device doesn't support 2.1 but it doesn't matter uh, the ultra high speed Belkin cable will give you the best possible uh, bandwidth between your receiver and your television all right so it is basically is this is something that Samsung Q8FN has if you have a Samsung Q8FN you can manually select what your device is so it's easy for you to recognize it this is something that I really like about Samsung that they do this so this gives you the ability to easily recognize your inputs you know especially for older people elderly people this is a cool thing so they can easily switch between cable satellite or whatever they have connected to it other devices you know so now here you see I have my AT&T U-verse. Well, I just name it AT&T U-verse, but it's AT&T TV. So now I'm going to point my remote control to it. And I'm going to hold two buttons right here. I'm going to show you in a minute. See where it says fast forward and rewind. And you hold it to the device. you can see that it, it lits up so you can see that it's uh this is one of those remote controls that it lits up in the dark so hold both buttons right here point it fast forward and uh, rewind and there you go you're pretty much good to go looks like it's done I'm not sure if this is a motion sensor type of remote, but let's see. I already have internet connected, so I'm good with that. Checking for updates. Uh, let's see what's up with that. It's now downloading updates. It's going to take a little while. 
the update it's actually pretty hefty uh it's been now five minutes and it's still updating but i think you only do this one time you do it one time and that's it after that you are pretty much finished and good to go all right so it's now eight minutes roughly eight minutes and it's uh still downloading and installing updates But it's actually cool. While you are waiting for the downloads, there's pop quiz questions. So you can kind of play around with this, answer some of these uh, pop quiz questions while you're waiting. So it's kind of cool. It's not just like a black screen. There's actually something for you to keep you busy, to keep your mind focused on something else while you're waiting for the, uh, the update. So that's kind of cool that they actually included that. So kudos for them for that. Are we almost there? So it's about 10 minutes. I say 10 minutes. Let's say 100. Oh, I was right. It's kind of nice little niche there that they put in there that keeps you preoccupied answering the questions while you're waiting for a download. Remember, this update you only do once, you know, to start it up after that. All the other firmware updates will be much quicker and much faster. All right, so it's all done. Now it's gonna res reset, it's shutting down. So it takes about 10 minutes for the whole thing, but at least you have a pop quiz questions while you're waiting for the whole thing to download and install and reset. So now it's resetting. There we go. It's powered by Android TV. So that's kind of cool that they're using Android TV. I wonder if they're going to support Google um, Arcadia. I wonder about that. So they automatically adjusted my resolution to 4K UHD, which is pretty cool. So still your original channel is going to be upscaled to 4K from 1080p and that's pretty cool too as well and it's powered by Android TV now as far as the pricing and packages and all that stuff guys you gotta go to the AT&T TV to find that out I'm not sponsored by them that's something you gotta go to their website I'm just here to give you my opinions my first impressions and let you know what I think that's what I'm all about testing things out for myself to give you my own honest opinion about everything but I will never talk about something unless I try it myself that's the important thing that everyone should remember when you come to my channel I'll never form an opinion about something that I don't have or that I haven't tried now the last step is for your remote to be updated and you have to keep your remote close to your receiver All right, so all up to date. Now the last step is for you to uh, type in your account, user ID and password, and then you're good to go. You can use a keyboard. That's the cool thing about this. You can use a keyboard if you like. And once you put in your credentials and stuff, you're good to go. All you have to do is just accept this, terms and conditions. And voila, there it is. It's powered by Google, so I think we might have um, Google Stadia probably, you know, in partnership with AT&T. Who knows? And it's pretty cool. You can sync in your Google account with the AT&T, so that's kind of cool. So as you can see, it is powered by Google. You can use the Google Assistant. Uh, so pretty much all set. It's like uh, NVIDIA Shield with AT&T. All right, here we go. I hope I will have enough memory on my uh, phone to film this. There might be a part two. Hold on. Here we go. And there it is right there. It's already set. It's all there. What's on right now? 
Um, go back. So you can use the remote control right here to uh, turn the volume up and down, change the channels if you like. It's pretty cool. It works pretty much like your like a cable box, honestly. It's pretty much the same like a cable box. Uh, but what I'm interested in is, is I want to see the options. I want to see what type of options do we have on the... Uh, hopefully this video, it, it's... Maybe this is a part two because I might have to uh, dissect this video because it's so long. You can restart the show, you can record, you can have more info on it. Okay, everything's on the cloud, you know, everything is on the cloud and you can watch all the other episodes as well. Uh, let me go ahead, let me check the settings. I want to see the video options and what type of output are we getting. So you click home and you go to this uh, browser here and you click on settings. Let's click on the settings. I want to see my preferences. All right, display screen resolution is 3840, 60 hertz. So there it is. It doesn't have HDR, but it does have 4K. So it does support the 4K. 4K 60, what about the audio? Surround. Okay, but that's cool. At least it's 4K. So it's, it's upscaling externally onto your television as well. So both externally and internally, you're getting the upscale. And uh, looks pretty darn good. This is Samsung Q8F and it looks pretty darn good. There, maybe I can uh, give you a little better. Uh... The reason I'm going with CNN because that's the only channel where I'm not going to get blocked. So, um... well, listen, this is just my first unboxing and setup process. I'll do some more videos on this. If you have any questions, let me know down below. What would you like me to test? What would you like me to see uh, to test on this device? This is just my first unboxing and first impressions. And so far, looks pretty good okay so thank you guys for watching sorry for such a long video but there was no way i could have done this video any shorter than 22 something minutes thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later yes this is upscale to 4k